What's going on, everybody? Tommy C. here. Shot from the Point YouTube News. Sanders Kennedy leaves a 14-second video on his main channel, Sanders Kennedy, and reports that there is no investigation going on in to Shane Dawson. Just a few days ago, Sanders Kennedy <laughs> deleted all videos pertaining to him reporting that there was an L.A. County police investigation into Shane Dawson. He has now retracted that in a rather bizarre way. Before we go any further, I'm sure you're absolutely fascinated in what Mr. Kennedy had to say. Here it is. Hey everyone, I have an update regarding my report on Shane Dawson. According to an article posted on Insider.com today, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department just confirmed to Insider that there's no investigation into Dawson. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> hey everyone. Sorry, my unprofessionalism. As you might know, uh, Sanders Kennedy uh, released a video saying that he had contacted LAPD and a Sergeant Payne uh, said to him that there was a police investigation into some of the videos that have been floating around on the internet of Shane Dawson's past. Some of them are uh, have damaged uh, Mr. Dawson's career. Uh, they were jokes about things I can't say here having to do with kids. Uh, most notably, the Will Smith family uh, was affected by it. They expressed their outrage by it. And when told, uh, essentially by the Internet, and some of my uh, colleagues and friends, Mr. Kennedy decided to uh, double, triple, and quadruple down on the fact that there was an investigation going on into Shane Dawson. Now, that does seem rather odd. I, it, it's not, well, it's it's not really odd. I know why he's doing that. I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but I also think it's important to talk about when Mr. Kennedy was speaking uh, or claiming, rather, that there was a police investigation to Shane Dawson, that uh, he had spoken uh, to uh, somebody named Sergeant Payne, uh, he claimed there was an investiga a police investigation. That's where he got it. I find that a little unusual. He, normally, a detective would be in charge of something like that. He claimed that uh, that this uh, that they were looking into it, uh, but they haven't had any victims come forward. And then he edited that video and went on to say it wasn't a criminal investigation. That he never said it was a criminal investigation, which is strange. I and maybe somebody can explain this to me. When when do a, a, it's the police's job to investigate crimes. I would imagine that any investigation they do uh, would be into something criminal. I mean, uh, do, do they do, do they investigate ethics violations? I, I, that would be new to me. I, I, look, I know it sounds stupid, like I'm making fun of them. Do police do non-criminal investigations? And and I would I if, if somebody wants to teach me, <laughs> that would be fine. It just sounds completely unusual. And the video seemed like a sort of a typical YouTuber video. It's got a headline. It's a lot of repeating yourself to meet the ten minute mark. Shane Dawson, of course, is a or Shane Dawson's fall from grace is an extremely hot commodity right now. It does get a lot or ton of hits uh but when you watch sanders video it's it contradicts itself um it, at one point uh it, he expresses excitement about this potential investigation that apparently has never taken place and then uh, towards the end of the video he asked if it was too heavy-handed by lapd or the la sheriff's department and one of the things I found really strange, and I will never get to the bottom of this unless this goes to court, and it probably is. Uh, again, I'll get to that later. Is we did he did release a video? This is what he like quadrupled, tripled down, or rather audio of a person. I don't know if it was Sergeant Payne. He was claiming it was Sergeant Payne. Oh, by the way, when the internet looked into uh, Sergeant Payne and LAPD, it said he retired. Of course, there could it's, it's a common name. So it could be somebody else, of course. <laughs> this, is, this is just complete wild. Um, he seemed to repeat that it was a non-criminal non investigation. 
into Shane Dawson. It was almost like he was repeating Sanders Kennedy's claims verbatim. Uh, there was no way to tell whether this was some uh, official. Now, Keemstar and Drama Alert has reported that uh, Shane Dawson's lawyers are looking into um, some kind of complaint or litigation into Sanders Kennedy's claims. Shane Dawson has repeatedly de denied through Keemstar that there is any kind of criminal investigation or any police investigation of any kind against him. Uh, last night on Drama Alert, it was reported that they were looking into investigating him. And lo and behold, uh, we get this 14-second video saying that there is no longer an investigation. Now, this is the article that uh, Sanders Kennedy cited <laughs> as, as um, evidence that there was no investigation into Shane Dawson. Of course, the article is really about him and him reporting it. I'll leave it in the description box below. I've read through it, uh, but I'll skim through it real quick right now. I mean, these headlines say, those bullet points say just about everything. A drama YouTuber named Sanders Kennedy sent old videos of Shane Dawson to uh, LA Sheriff's Department. He then made a monetized video about an investigation into Dawson on his own channel. LA Sheriff's Department confirmed to Insider there is no criminal investigation. Uh, Kennedy's video caused immediate controversy in the YouTube drama community surrounding his actions. So this article is basically about him and he sent photos to um, LASD and claimed there was an investigation. Is that a crime in itself? Uh, certainly he might be liable for, uh, I guess, defamation damage. I'm not terribly sure that um, sending videos to uh, LASD would be some kind of crime, but it might be something that Shane Dawson's lawyers might want to look into defamation-wise. And again, this article is completely about Sanders Kennedy and uh, the rebuke by the community um, on what poor journalism this was. Um, again, it just seemed like he took a very serious situation and a serious accusation and turned it into a sort of a typical drama TV video. And now to the rumors. Now, this is the um, uh, the, the very unprofessional news man that, that I am. Uh, but I'm going to talk about rumors and things that I've heard in my DMs. Please take these with a grain of salt. These are not sources or anything of that nature. These are just... Um, um, things I'm hearing that I, I heard one that keeps popping in my DMs is that Sanders Kennedy uh, allegedly recorded uh, uh, one of the um, members of the police department, I imagine that would be LASD, uh, illegally. And uh, that, that, that that was uh, shaking him up a bit. Um, again, I can neither confirm or deny that, take it with a grain of salt. And does that mean the now deleted recording of the person he claimed was Sergeant Payne of LASD was actually real? Uh, in, in that particular audio recording, they said they were doing a non-criminal investigation. Again, I've never heard of the police being involved in anything that wasn't criminal. It seems outside their sphere. You got me. Um, it, it's, it's completely bizarre, but I think like most people think that that particular audio, I, I certainly did at the time. Now I don't know what to believe was more than likely fabricated. So basically it's impossible to tell if there was at least a grain of truth to what he said. I mean, it's, it's, it's plausible that he, he called over there and, and somebody said in jest, or maybe somebody wanted uh, 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 Sanders Kennedy to think he was, uh, you know, maybe he's blowing smoke uh, uh, up his butt and um, he he uh, just regurgitated the smoke. Um, either way, it's, uh, you know, w once you play the role of journalist, whether you like it or not, you should be, and in a lot of cases, even more so than the mainstream media, you're going to be held accountable. So if you're really vague, if you want victims to come forward and you don't post a number and you make fun of the people that try to call uh, uh, and get in touch with the, this, this Sergeant Payne, 
um, you're 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 going to be you. You're in big trouble. Whether well, I'm not a journalist. Well, neither am I. Somebody, somebody out there is is going to spank you because that now where Shane Dawson is a commodity, co- commodity. You're a commodity because you told a, a BS story about Shane Dawson. So it's impossible to tell uh, if there was a grain of truth to the story. Um, if there what if he did talk to a cop, if it's possible at all, because of course he comes out and denies that there was an investigation to begin with, clearly because he fears legal ramifications, or there are legal ramifications already, and this is just what he's been ordered to do to avoid litigation. That's all I got for you today. Listen, I'm going to be on the Drunken Peasants tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I get to Hang out with uh, Billy the Fridge, um, all the boys on the Drunken Peasants. I don't know what other guests will be on besides myself. I'll be staying up real late European time uh, for that. So uh, make sure you go sub Drunken Peasants. They'll be in the description box below. Um, and check me out tonight. Uh, I get to be the background man in, in the podcast for a change instead of the leader. And if you want to check out my uh, Sanders Kennedy um, podcast, Shop of the Point podcast, uh, you could either. Well, why don't you just wait till the end cards? My dick's a bigger dick than Jake Paul. I'm moving bricks like I'm on the wall. Fuck the little bitch, make his dick wet. Little Paul, bitch, boss him. Grab a president, don't jump, don't jump.